Well, that is a, it is a very interesting question because I, got, I was very, very lucky in that I, um, I found what I wanted to do because my dad happened to be in a business that he wasn't interested in, but they had a, some books down there, and I loved my dad, and I'd go down and read the books, and they interested me. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad he wasn't a, you know, a professor or professional boxer or something, or I, you know, I wouldn't have any teeth left or anything. <laughs> I, I, it, it, was, it was accident, just totally accident. But I do think, I do think you know it when you see it, and it doesn't mean you can follow it. I, I would tell the students as I wrote in the report, I mean, you know, find out what you love doing it. You spend most of your life doing it, and that, uh, why in the world would you want to be uh, around for a lifetime uh, working with people that you didn't like unless you had to, which sometimes happens, and uh, uh, just work for whomever you admire the most. And uh, I gave a talk at Stanford one time, and somebody showed up at Tom Murphy's office, I think, <laughs> a couple of days later. I mean, I, that person was right. And of course, it's what I did when I got out of school. I, I wanted to work for Ben Graham. I mean, that, that is, I just, I didn't care what I got paid. It didn't make any, you know, I'm, it's like, it just is, I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. And then I pestered him for three years and he finally hired me. Uh, and then I found somebody else that I'd even rather work for than Ben, who happened to be myself. <laughs> and, uh, so, so, so I've been working for myself ever since, but I worked for, I had about four bosses in my life. Uh, and I, I done the Lincoln Journal, with, uh, 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 name slips my mind at the moment. He's a wonderful boss. It was Cooper Smith and J.C. Penney's here in Omaha. And they, they all were wonderful people. But I still preferred working for myself. And, of course, Charlie and I both worked for my grandfather. And, and we just didn't, we didn't find it that interesting. At, uh, uh, how, how, I never, I don't remember, how, how'd you, why'd you ever decide to go to work at the store? Charlie? Charlie worked there in 1940. I worked well, there. Well, I worked just for the experience of working. I didn't need the money. My father gave me an ample allowance, and I also had a private business. So uh, I was kind of working as a lark in your grocery store. 12 hours a day? Yes. As, for a lark? Yeah, as a lark, yes. Do you consider that a good investment of your time? I'm just looking back on it. Well, I had never done it before, and I wanted to have a little of that experience, and I wasn't going to do it very long. Hmm. That sure as hell wasn't the reason I worked. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I could give that young lady the advice. Figure out what you're bad at and avoid all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the way Warren and I found our provision. Absolutely. We, yeah, we, we failed at everything else. We worked at everything until we found the ideal employers ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that, that was an organ, that was something we really admired. Was <laughs> yeah, I know. Warren said work for somebody you admire. <laughs> the only one he knew was the one he was I shaving. self employed. You see when he was shaving. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't bad advice. It isn't bad advice. I mean, who wants this? If they've got an option, I mean, if you're, you know, Charlie went into the service and whatever year it was, in the 40s, and he didn't really have a choice of who he was going to work for. And as I remember, it didn't really work out that well <laughs> who he worked for, Charlie, did it? Well, <laughs> if you stop to think about it, the two things that neither one of us has ever succeeded at. One, we've never succeeded at anything that didn't interest us, right? Right. And we've never succeeded at anything that was really hard where we didn't have much aptitude for it. Yeah, and we've been doing whatever we pleased for yeah, 60 it's years just... now. I mean, <laughs> and we get, you know, we have fun in our way. And I'm we... just amazed. You'd think if you're smart, you could do things that don't interest you well, but you can't. Well, 
I've certainly got a lot of examples in my own case, but we won't get into them here. 